Hey y'all, I'm back with another video because three people <laughs> three people asked me um what did I do to get it accepted into Bethune Cookman. So I was like, oh okay, so y'all want a YouTube video. That's pretty much what you're asking me for. Y'all I'm taking every opportunity I can to make new videos so that I can have different college content on there because I really wanted my um channel to be about college. Please excuse my background. I have a, my roommate is literally dead. Dead. <laughs> my roommate got the worst class schedule this semester. She got like a 7 to 8.15. So she waiting for 7 o'clock. And she got a 3 hour long class. Like her schedule is horrible. My schedule is is bad on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but three hour classes can't do it. Anyways, I see a piece of her dead face. I'm trying to. All right, there we go. Um, okay, so yeah, what did I do to get accepted to Bethune Cookman? So, a lot of people don't know that I didn't have the best GPA and I didn't have the best words, right? So when I applied to Bethune, it was kind of like me winging it. But I do have tips and advice pretty much to go for any um, application, college application, because I did get accepted to Hampton University in Virginia. I got accepted like the week that classes started here. So I had did a full week of classes here. My money had already been dispersed. So it was like, if I go to Hampton, I'm not going to have any financial aid. And it hurt me, it broke my heart, and it broke me down. But to get accepted into college, when you're applying, I do suggest that everybody who is deciding to apply for school, I suggest that y'all go ahead and take the opportunity to apply for schools as early as possible um, in as many schools as possible. I know that people have dream schools that they want to like get into, but I don't think you should put all your faith into one school. People told me that, and I didn't take that advice. Don't put all your faith into one school. I actually applied to Bethune was my last school, right? And I said that if I didn't get accepted, um, <clears throat> it was what it was. And um, I got accepted, but I think it was because at the time when I applied to Bethune, it was kind of still early on because I think that BCU accepts applications like later on even in the summer or something like that. You, yeah, because one of my roommates actually got accepted in the summer. So they're still accepting people late in the summer and I pretty much got accepted right before graduation in May. So I think I kind of applied early. Um, it took them not too long to accept. I think that for the most part, everybody should start taking their SAT and ACT when they're in high school. When you're in high school, I think you should take it your junior year middle or end of your junior year take it for the first time and the beginning and middle of your senior year you're taking it for the second time so you'll know what you're getting yourself into i have my little brother um he's about to take he's a junior and he's about to take the act in february and i think he takes the sat in march i mean in um <coughs> the summer but i went ahead and signed him up because i wanted to make sure that he don't have the same experience that i had and I really did apply for my SAT and ACT very late. So I took it like one time for one time for the um, ACT and two times for the SAT. And SAT, I did not get pretty much a big difference, a big skip and a hop in my um, test scores. So that's why I say apply early on. And if you're watching and if you're planning on going to college early, like you already know your freshman in high school I think that really you got to stay on your GPA because senior year junior year I mean it's gonna take a lot for you to make that jump from something low to something high so I definitely will say to stay on your GPA um community service is a big thing depending on which school you apply to and I do say depending on which school you apply to because for some of the schools that I applied to, that was like one of the main things they looked at, community service. And for Bethune, 
they didn't really look at anything <laughs> they didn't really look at anything um with the community service i don't think that they looked at anything for the most part but um i'm sorry i've been having ra issues thought she was back again but um i would really say to just stay on yourself when it comes to community service grades gpa all that stuff matters and when y'all ask me how did i get accepted into these schools i can truly say that my faith was strong because <laughs> um any other thing i don't know i don't know how it happened but i know that i did know that i was going to go to school and another thing make sure y'all have a good reference in a good essay that y'all wrote because some of these schools ask for essays right and you have to <clears throat> pretty much write an essay about why you want to go to the school what you think you bring to the school or something about you it has different essays that they allow people to um write about so i think you should get a good essay that you can tweak a little so you can use it for each school that you apply to and just go off of that another thing don't listen to what other people say to you don't go by what um people tell you that you should be going by because had I went by what um I didn't really have my peers saying it but if I went by what my counselors said to me I probably would have been at a two-year college right now but you know I didn't so I think you should really listen to yourself follow whatever you want to follow because it's anything that you want you can get it as long as you put your own mind to it put your focus into it you can get anything that you want so that's pretty much how i got to to bethune quickly that's pretty much how i got to to hampton i had a good essay really i had a good essay really i had good community service hours i'm good at community service um i had great reference people so everything was great in those departments and i think that that was pretty much it my S my act scores was good i'm not gonna knock myself my act scores were all right they was okay so i think that's what really matters when you're trying to make sure that you get accepted into a school when you're trying to make sure you're going to go somewhere and do it early don't wait until the last minute that those are the main things because i know when i was it was leading up to graduation the kids was like oh yeah i know what school i'm going to i'm like yeah i don't know i don't know if i'm going stuff like that so you don't want to be that kid just go ahead and do stuff early on it's never too early to start looking it's never too early to start applying yourself so just make sure y'all do that and that's pretty much it.